Alright YouTube, I thought I'd do a little update here on my 2011 Dodge Ram. It's got about 8,000 miles on it, so it's basically still brand new. Um, I have a YouTube buddy who had a question about uh, the sunroof, so I thought I'd uh, demonstrate where it sits and whatnot. Looking at it, it looks basically perfectly flush to me when closed. Might, well, no, it actually looks pretty good. We'll open it up and close it and see. I don't really ever use it, so I think I've opened it three or four times all summer. See the truck, yeah. It's 8,030 miles on it. You can see there I'm getting uh, 13 miles to the gallon average. I've seen it get up as high as 15 when I took a little road trip uh, over the summer. But um, almost all my driving is highway driving too, so the fuel economy leaves something to be desired with all the emission stuff that they have on these now. But obviously it's a huge vehicle, so... So we'll close the sunroof up here and I can reach the end. There we go. So yeah, that's kind of how it sits. It seems to be perfectly flush. I love my truck. Got the G56 manual. Navigation, all that stuff. There's, of course, plenty of videos up of it, so... Turn the ignition off here. So, um, let's see here. I'm going to talk about a couple things. I guess I better open the hood. Again, 8,000 miles on it. It's actually called for two oil changes already, which kind of surprised me. The first time it called for an oil change was at like 4,200 miles, so I was kind of expecting, I don't know, eight or 9,000 by the time I needed the second one, but actually it only made it about 3,600 miles the second time. Uh, it's been basically an awesome truck. I love driving it. There's no question to me anyway that a Ram has all the sex appeal and the Cummins engine, which is why I bought one. I think they look the best outside inside. No question. Of course, that's a matter of opinion. I did want to talk about uh, two issues I've had with it. When I got it brand new, um, the clutch always seemed a little bit sticky, tricky, I guess you should say. Uh, one thing it would always do, most of my vehicles are manual trannies too, so it's not like they're foreign to me. But one thing it always did, and I just thought it was kind of the nature of the beast, is back it out of the garage in the morning or from my parking spot at work and uh, when I'd stop to shift gears and push the clutch in that it, you know it would always stick in reverse I'd have to let the clutch out a second time and push it in again before I could get it to come out of reverse then at about 4,000 miles it started squeaking and you could feel it and whatnot you know it just felt weird and it was making some noise like kind of a squeak and a like a howl almost and so basically it called for the oil change at 4,200 miles and I took it into the dealer and had them service it and complained about the clutch and they lubricated it which did absolutely nothing so I thought oh well whatever so the only other issue I've had with it is over the summer see these air conditioning lines right here going into the firewall there's a fitting right up there at the top I noticed back in May or June it started to get all greasy looking and covered in oil and there was like splatters around that shield and I wondered what what, what was going on if there was a problem but everything seemed to be alright Throughout the summer, I noticed that the air conditioning would still cool the vehicle down, but it would take a long time. Like, I'd leave work some days, and it just seemed like, you know, 90, 95 degrees out, even 100 almost, and it just took a long time to cool down. So I didn't really worry about it until it's October now, but about two or three weeks ago, we had a warm September, and uh, one day it just didn't really cool down at all. So I took it in, and sure enough, they uh, diagnosed it as being low on Freon, and you know, put dye in it and whatnot, and even though I could see that that was all oily and whatever, they 
agreed that it needed to be replaced. There's some O-ring in there that was bad, so they replaced the whole the whole shebang there, both lines, the fitting, the O-rings. And then uh, I complained about the clutch again, and this time they replaced the clutch master cylinder right there. And I gotta say, that made all the difference in the world. I mean, it drives like a different truck now. It's I was used to it before, but it's I guess it operates the way it should now. It's smooth, it's quiet, doesn't hang up in reverse anymore. So, yours is doing that. Bitch loud enough. They'll replace it. Uh, other than that, no problems at all. As you can see, I still have all my emissions crap in here. But no problems. I can't even ever tell when it regens and any of that. I will say, uh, any of you out there that have these that have been deleted with tuners and whatever, I'd love to hear what your miles per gallon are. Uh, again, I'm doing mostly my commute in to work and whatnot is, and it's a daily driver, so it's you know all the time. But my commute's like 25 miles on the highway, 70, 75 miles an hour. So you know, huge vehicle. I expect not great miles per gallon, but I had an O2 Cummins that used to get 20 miles to the gallon all the time. So a little bit disappointed there, but I've heard that emissions crap does all that. So anyway, uh, that's kind of the update. I love the truck. I have no complaints. I'd totally buy it all over again if I had to. The only thing I wish I had was I wish I had the Alcoa aluminum wheels. But uh, wasn't a choice when I bought it. Otherwise, that's it. Sweet truck.